Hey there awesome people, how are you guys doing? So this is here Vibro from Tech Week, and today in this video I'll be reviewing Mini Tool Shadow Maker, which is a great professional backup tool. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. So if this is the first time you're watching my video, then please do consider subscribing to my channel as 98% of you guys aren't subscribed. So if you really want to support a small creator like me, then a sub to the channel will definitely make my day. Okay, so some of the key features of Mini Tools Shadow Maker include system backup and restore. You can create a system image and enable you to restore to previous state when there is a need. Backup or sync open files. You can backup or sync files folders or open files to keep data safe. Shadowmaker also support NTFS volumes with 2 MB cluster size. Restore to different computer. You can create a system image on a normal computer and restore it to dissimilar hardware. Backup 2 MB cluster volume. You can backup or clone NTFS hard drives with 2 MB cluster size to safeguard your data pretty well. Change backup scheme. You can also manage hard disk space by changing the backup scheme. And lastly, automatic backup. Set your backup matters on a regular basis so as to safeguard your data and PC well enough. Minitool Shadow Maker is available both for home user as well as business user. And if you're a home user, you can also get the free edition or the professional edition as well. Please check the video description to download Mini Tool Shadow Maker and a big thanks goes to Mini Tool team for sponsoring this video. All right, now let's open up Mini Tool Shadow Maker and check out its interface. After opening, you will have this screen, which has options like Home, Backup, Sync, Restore, Manage, Logs, Tools, and Feedback. Now let's go to Backup. And here you will have to select the source of your backup. In easy language, you'll have to select the folder or partition that you want to backup. And destination is the location where your backup files will be stored. Next to backup, we have sync. Even in sync, you will have to select the source and destination, just like backing up. After sync, we have restore. If you have successfully backed up your files or partition, and now you want to restore them, then just click on add backup, look at your backed up files, and then you're done. It's that simple. Next to restore, we have manage. Here you can enable the feature to shut down the computer when all the running backup tasks are finished. Pretty useful feature if you have a very big hard drive. Next, we have logs. Here you can take a look at all the logs for your backup, restore or syncing details. Right now, I haven't done any backup, so it might look pretty neat. Under tools, we have options like media builder, Add Boot Menu, Mount, Dismount, Clone Disk, PXE, and Remote. So you can see Mini Tool Shadow Maker is more than just a simple backup software with so many smaller yet useful features inside it. Lastly, we have Feedback. Here, if you have faced any issue while using the application or anything as such, you can contact the good people at Minitool and they'll surely respond to you within no time. Well, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you're looking for a free backup software or even a professional data backup software, then Minitool Shadow Maker can be a good option for you. Like I said, you can find the download links for this great tool in the video description. And if this video was helpful in any way, and you love its content then please do like this video as it motivates me to make more videos like this one and lastly if you want to optimize your old pc for gaming then please watch this video to your left and if you want to get some more free ram for free of course then watch this video to your right this is vibro and i will see you in the next video
Cheers. <laughs>